In this topic, we are going to learn about mutually exclusive events. Two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. For instance, we cannot turn left and turn right at the same time. Therefore, in this Venn diagram here, set A intersect set B is equal to a noun set or empty set. Here we have a deck of cards. And in this deck of cards, there are four suits, namely clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. And in each of these suits, we have A, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, J, Q, K. And hence, there are 52 cards in this deck of cards here. Here we have two events, event A being getting an ace and event B being getting a 7. Here, these two events are mutually exclusive. Event A, we have getting an ace. And event B, we have getting a 7. These two events are mutually exclusive because we do not have a card that is both ace and a 7. Now, what happens if event A is getting a heart and event B is getting a 7? Then these two events are not mutually exclusive because we have a card here that is both 7 and heart. And these two events can occur at the same time. If a card is drawn at random from this deck here, what is the probability of getting a 8 of club? There's only one 8 of club here, and there are 52 cards. Therefore, the probability of getting a 8 of club will be 1 over 52. What's the probability of getting a 8 of club or a 8 of diamond? There's one 8 of club and there's one 8 of diamond. The probability of getting either of them will be 2 over 52, which is equal to 1 over 26. The probability of getting an 8 of club is 1 over 52, because there's only one 8 of club. And the probability of getting an 8 of diamond is also 1 over 52. The probability of getting either of them will be 1 over 52 plus 1 over 52, which is equal to 2 over 52 and simplified to 1 over 26. Now, what's the probability of getting either a spade or a heart? There are 13 spades and 13 hearts, so altogether we have 26 over 52, simplified to 1 over 2. Or we can write down the probability of getting a spade is. 13 over 52, and the probability of getting hearts is also 13 over 52. If we add them up, we will have 26 over 52, which is also equals to 1 over 2. If two events are mutually exclusive, then the probability of getting A or B is equals to probability of getting A plus probability of getting B. In this example, a bag has three blue balls, five green balls, and two red balls. A ball is drawn at random. We are asked to find the probability of getting either a red or a green ball. So, in total, there are 10 balls, out of which there are two red, five greens. And therefore, seven of them are either red or green. And we have the probability of getting a red or green being 7 over 10. Or we can write down the probability of getting a red which is 2 over 10 plus the probability of getting a green which is 5 over 10 which will also give us 7 over 10. Here a box contains a number of fruits. The probability of getting a banana is 1 over 5 and the probability of getting an apple is 1 over 6. A fruit is picked at random and we are asked to find the probability of getting either a banana or an apple. We know that we can use the probability of getting a banana which is 1 over 5 plus the probability of getting an apple which is 1 over 6 and we have 11 over 30. Next we are asked to find the probability of getting neither a banana or an apple. 
In this case, we can use 1 minus the probability of getting either a banana or apple, and we'll have 1 minus 11 over 30. Because if the probability of getting either banana or apple is 11 over 30, the probability of not getting either of them is 1 minus 11 over 30, which will give us 19 over 30 for the probability of getting neither a banana nor apple. What happens if the number of bananas in the box is 18? How many apples are there? The probability of getting a banana is 1 over 5. And the numerator here represents banana and the denominator here represents fruits. So if 1 unit represents 18 bananas, 5 units here will represent 18 times 5, which is 90 fruits. So there are 90 fruits here. The probability of getting an apple is 1 over 6. And we know that the numerator is the outcome for apple and the denominator is the outcomes for fruits. If 6 units here represents 90 fruits, then we are asked to find 1 unit and it represents 90 divided by 6 because we divide 6 on both sides to give us 15 apples. So there are 15 apples if the number of bananas in the box is 18. In summary, if two events A and B are mutually exclusive, then the probability of getting A or B is equal to the probability of getting A plus the probability of getting B. In another words, if the two events are mutually exclusive and we have the word or here, we can add up the probability of the two events. And that's all for this topic.